Hello my friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. I hope you're having a wonderful week and we're going to see what's going to happen with you this week. Um, first I just want to say thank you to everybody who's liked, subscribed and commented. I, I, you make my day every day. I appreciate you so much. Um, I also wanted to say congratulations to John. Um, it's J-O-N. He is the, he or she is the winner of, um, the free giveaway for the month of November. So we're still having the giveaway for December still going. So if you do want to be, um, added to that, um, just go ahead and subscribe and comment. And that way I know, like your actual name and I can put you in, you know, the drawing. <laughs> okay. That's it. So let's find out what's happening this week. All right. So we have these three cards. We have Oracle cards. We have tarot cards. We have divination dice, a pin, and we have sprinkle of charms. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Close our eyes. Now as we exhale and open them, choose whichever pile calls you to it. All right, let's do this. Hello, group one. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's find out what's happening with you this week. Okay, so you chose this card in particular, and it is um, the garden and the gate. Okay, so I'm going to read you what it is, and we ha and so we can find out our affirmation for the week as well. So, all awesome stuff. Okay, so here we go. This card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautiful blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked, and while the girl wears a key on a chain around her neck, this card uprights bodes well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But beware, the choice to stay in the seeming, seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by a habit or a fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worthy of enjoy, and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it is fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that is just outside your gate. So I think that is pretty awesome, right? Affirmation. I am blessed with I am blessed with an abundantly spiritual life. Every day, every day in every way, my joyous prosperity grows and grows. So there is a lot of prosperity coming um, for you um, this week, at least. And then um, I think, but it is trying to ask you to to have a little like. I guess an adventure is what I would say. Let's look at what the cards tell us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we have the Knight of Swords. We also have the Page of Pentacles. And we also have the Six of Cups. Okay, so this is actually quite interesting because to me it seems like... Oh, let's put her... Let's put your guide over here so you can see her. Um, okay, so it does kind of go really well with the, this energy of this card because we have the page of pentacles so it's like oh uh, you've i think you've done a lot of learning maybe you've been doing a lot of like learning about your business or or some sort of like endeavor something that but i really want to say like your business or, or some idea that you've been having um but i feel like yes you're very much grounded in the learning aspect of it and not putting so much um effort of actually implementing that learning right um so here this week we actually have this we actually have the learning but we actually st still have this like the knight of swords which is a lot it's a lot of fast motion it's kind of like a bit rushed <laughs> it's like oh it's a bit rushed there but it, it's it's a good one because you have more clarity um i feel like you also have something from the past is coming back some sort of like uh something that's joyous to you maybe a friend is gonna reach out to you um uh it could also be like you're spending time more time with your kids if you have kids or with kids around kids as well but it, it seems like something from the past that was again pleasurable is going to come come back and just visit you <laughs> this week <laughs> so again it, it's it's kind of cool because I, I love this 
feeling of like yes we have a little bit of the past here coming back but we also have like a lot of momentum forward this week as well you also don't have any major arcanas so it's like uh not too intense week either um but you're gonna feel this like a surge of like wanting to move forward of like i feel like you have here you're you've, you're comfortable where you are you're you're in a good place um or maybe not even if i mean it seems to me like you are in a good place but if you don't feel like you are there's maybe sometimes you also feels like this card also lets me know even though we, we've read the the meaning but it's also letting me know like you know how sometimes we think that the pasture is greener on the other side um so maybe also kind of appreciate the things that you do have. I I know that it's telling us that, yes, all the things, but I feel like that's another big message here. Um, do appreciate the beauty that you do have um, and not only like be focused on other people. Um, another thing is that you do always have the key for your own, like um, you do have the key to, I guess your joy is what I want to say. You have the key to your own fulfillment as well um so don't forget that because we sometimes tend to forget that we think that other people have that key but we know it's it's our own self it's how we look at the world and how we look at all our surroundings um okay so yeah it's 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 a good week <laughs> what is it is a good week good week so i'm actually using my little whimsical oracle i'm actually expanding <laughs> this one i'm actually gonna add more cards to it because i've been playing with it as, as well as you know i do love to play with mm, oracles um to create one so this one of course does it takes flight it says takes flight and it actually just it it goes so well with everything so again taking flight is uh, uh, i feel like maybe you are feeling too comfortable in your it's like i really want to say enough learning enough like thinking now it's time for action and it's it's like there's a lot of positive things coming your way also wanted to point out that there's like butterflies here so there is a transformation i think inside you want of transformation but you're scared of this transformation um <clears throat> with this take flight lets us know that you're gonna go high you're gonna go like you're gonna go to new places you're gonna it's like amazing things are gonna happen once you start to take action with this um knight of swords so I love that. Really cool, cool, cool. I love it, love it so much. Um, okay, let's look at what your romance is. Okay, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So that is the energy of love. So there might be uh, conflicts in religion factors or it might just be like um, not necessarily religious, but maybe um, how you look at the world. It might be different from the person that you're with or you're playing or you know like you might come together with um if that's the case just remember it's okay that people have different perspectives and different views um you know that the overall factor i think love is always very important <laughs> like that that's kind of like always been there that's a root um foundation i guess love is always there um okay so let's look at your self-care for the week so you have a rati write a gratitude list yeah again that's because i feel like like here you have this that you do want to go off to to like explore in a different way but you also want to be acknowledged acknowledged all the wonderful things you do have already um and we have two this week is like apparently a lot of self-care for everybody because i got two cards for everybody so sync with the moon oh yeah so do let's um if you want i'm gonna link it but watch the new moon um reading that is up um so there you go i think that is good things here okay so we're gonna do pins and dice and actually we're, okay so first let's actually do this i wanted to, I, i'm always like trying to figure out so if you can think of a question that you have for this week i'm going to use the angel um cards to answer okay so let's go ahead i'm gonna give you a few seconds to think about the question that you have for this week and we'll see if what the answer for the angels answer you with okay okay this one is <laughs> it says no <laughs> and <laughs> that's what it says opportunity so something has a no but there's opportunity up in the air so i like that too so Whatever it is, 
There you go. All right, so you have those two. Now let's do uh, the pin for the week. So let's see what kind of pin you're going to get for this week. Uh -huh. This is a positive sign, and I'm, and it's also a game over. <laughs> so two pins. I'm like, this is good. So it's a positive sign that something is over. Um, yeah. So this is a positive sign. So some something that has the note. It says that kind of note. It's like, oh, it's time. I really think that it is time for a transformation. You are kind of you. Part of you really wants this transformation. Wants to grow. Wants to, like, expand and take flight. <laughs> Um, so allow yourself that. And that is a positive sign. Okay, now let's do the divination dice. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, I just made a shaky shake. Okay, no shaky shakies. Okay, let's do the G V Z and B and M. I also have Pisces, so Hi Pisces! I'm also a Pisces now. <laughs> Either a water sign and an earth sign too. Um, we have, yeah, shining star. You have a like, and I love that it kind of goes with the pentacle. So shining star, new opportunities. Um, like, things that you've been wanting are coming coming to the floor. Um, we also have trip. So maybe you're planning a trip. Maybe you're taking a trip. Um, but trip is also like, so it's important as well. Maybe because it's like take flight too, so you might need to take a um, an actual flight. Um, it also lets me know something too. Maybe you you've been kind of scared of like maybe going out, um, but it really wants you to like kind of you know be safe, but do have fun and and go explore. Really, I think that's what it is. Um, so we do have the sun here with the with like. Um, yeah, so yeah, I kind of like this. We have the, the sun with the cloud, but we also and we also have some rain. So we have some like there's some sun coming out, um, and some old emotions are also being taken care of. But I love that the wind is pushing the clouds away. There's like a new current, something new is coming your way that's just gonna like push away the clouds, anything that's kind of blocking your clarity, something new. And that's also with this Knight of Swords because he like. The Knight of Swords acts because he knows there's this clarity that guides him, and so he takes action because of it. It's not a, it's like he's done waiting. He, you know, he's a fighter in that regard. So that's really good. And you know, so in in the process of growing, um, so you you you've already you kind of like here you have the, the seeds. You're past the sprouting stage. You're already starting to grow. So things are growing. Things are going good. You have like deep love here, a deep connection with somebody. Um, so yeah, if there is some sort of religious factor or some, um, well, core value difference, remember that there is a great love there for you though. Three and five important numbers as is, yeah, double five. So double five, I think <coughs> learning, learning, learning from any kind of like things in the past that you've, you've had, like from the past here. So learning from the past is important for you as well. Um, okay, let's do, oh, let's do a sprinkle of charms. Let's do it this way. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so you are on your way. You do have, like, this castle. Um, you do have this castle. You're gonna, you know, you're building a lot towards everything. Your dreams are coming true right now you just got to keep working towards them you have to like to start taking action towards these dreams that you've been having um i really feel like yeah that's it's important um you also here we also have the key which you know again just a reminder that you do have the key to your own happiness and it just kind of goes really well with the card right there um handmade with love. I feel like, yeah, either you're receiving handmade gifts or you're creating handmade gifts for others. And it also, like, it lately it's been feeling like somebody, some of you have been starting to, um, like, have some sort of business with, like, stuff that you make yourself. Um, so just, it's, it's a good thing. It's, it's like a positive thing. It's like letting you know that, yes, keep doing it. Success will come, um, forever. I want to say, like, there is that love forever, but it's also like, remember that, like, the forever means to me the expansion, like, it's like, 
you know, there is like this forever, there's infinite. So allow yourself to feel that, to connect to that infinite possibilities. You know, don't don't shut yourself out. Um, you have I choose strength. So instead of choosing fear, choose strength and 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 pursue those dreams that you're having. Yeah, again made with love. This is like a lot of like like things that you're being made with love, a lot of handmade um gifts and I also feel like yeah, businesses that is like handmade, that you're doing something and that you're selling it off. Um do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Um so you just again with this religious factors and just in general, like just see how you how you would want people to treat you and treat them that way. There's the yin and yang. So again, the yin and yang. There's this balance that you're achieving, but it could be like there's a lot of love here too. Um, so there might be somebody who who just really balances you out. And if there is like little hiccups on the way, don't let that um, prevent you from being together because love is forever. Like there's a strong bond here. Um, okay, I think that is it for you, Group One. Oh no no. I was like, I was lying, I was lying. <laughs> we also have the moon here. So it's a half moon, like it's a half moon. So it's like letting go of the past and moving towards the, to the things that you do want. I think you've like, overall you have a wonderful week. So just remember that it's okay if things are changing, it's a growth for you. Um, and allow yourself that growth because you're going to take flight and you're going to go really far. Okay, that is it for you, Group 1. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'm just super grateful to you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'm sending you so much love, so much light, so much joy, so much clarity, so much um, inspired action. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hello, Group 2. I hope you're having a super wonderful day. I actually want to say hi this way. <laughs> I saw some another reader do it and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. You say hi that way. Um, okay, so yes. Well, let's find out what's happening with you, group two. So you chose this beautiful card, which is the door to spirit. That's a big, big one right there. Um, so I'm going to read you so we know what affirmations and all the cool stuff that is there for you. Okay, so let's do ready. There we go. So, upright, this door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all the new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential for the changes that happen here and reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card is often heralds your increasing powers in your spiritual hearts and deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence, and more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of the spirit and the magic and the power of your true identity. So the affirmation for this card is, I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I live in the peace that my spirit brings, and I know that the world of spirit supports me. So it's I love that because it's so beautiful. I'm um, just trusting um that the universe is there for you that is that's really beautiful let's see what the cards tell us so we have the emperor we have the eight of cups and we have the moon so yeah a lot of intuitive energy here um so we are leaving something we're walking away from something and maybe from um i feel like <laughs> actually it feels like that is like this emperor energy which is like um more like grounded in logic more it's like he's abundant he's he's abundant and now but it's like it's more like logical it's more yeah it is more earthly um we're not necessarily walking away from that in in good but we're like kind of we want to go deeper we want to go into this intuitive um intuitive nature of the world like to go deeper in the moon the unknown the hidden we want to go further in into that as well um i do want to say that well there is a new moon coming so you should definitely i'll link the the, the reading that i just did for it um so that is good um and with this new moon that means that we're focusing on new things that are coming that we want to manifest so i feel like that you really do want to connect with the spirit um i also feel like there might just be somebody who who grounds you like your significant other who's very grounding um 
And I'm not saying that you're walking away from them, but I feel like you are starting to want to be grounded in yourself now. Um, and, and part of that is really going internally, going in, and really going in and finding your own sense of intuition, your own sense of being, you know. There is stuff, that, again, there is stuff that's hidden from you because the moon, there is this, this hidden aspect to it. But I feel like you want to find out what that is and you're going on that because I feel like, do you see that there's two moons there for you? Um, so yeah, so that's where you're going. You're going you're going in this week. You're going deep into your intuition, your deep connection with um with yourself. I really feel like that. Love that you know. I very love when they, the cards kinda just match in a way. Um, okay, so let's do create magic, yeah. So I'm so excited about using my own deck of Oracle cards. I'm actually adding more Oracle cards to my deck. So I've been playing with it more. Um, okay, so I feel like this and this when you're moving towards this new sense of like intuition, I feel like this is where you're gonna have like a lot of inspiration. You're gonna start creating the magic, creating the world that you want. Um, I feel like you want this balance. I feel like you want this um, both being like very grounded and and you know financially and 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 supported and everything like that but you also want this like spiritual fulfillment as well but we're creating magic it also could be that in this um as you go within it, it might just be like also suggesting that you actually draw it out or write it out um write your experiences because sometimes we experience something and we're not really aware of what happened but you know we need more time so we, writing it or drawing it out will let us bring more clarity to the situation um, so yeah, that is good, but creating magic things are good. You're you're manifesting a lot more um, And I love that because you are connected with with source energy with with uh, the divine There's this great connection. I love it. All right, so let's look about your love your love connection here Your love energy for the week and it's honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together So Maybe you're, t you're spending time with your your significant other um, Maybe you're going on a little trip with them but again, it's like there is like some sort of trip, some sort of like a holiday somewhere. Um, whether it's with some significant somebody with significant other or um, having time with yourself is also like as you delve deep, it's like time, I think it's like having a pause and going within or, or connecting with somebody as well. Um, but the, the connection is deep. It's like a, a moon. It's like a hidden it's not like right there it's a deep deep one okay a deep emotional one all right let's see what your uh, um self-care for the week is so we have ground yourself yeah we have grounding and we also have meditate so there's like taking time to meditate taking time to like really connect and i think that is part of the thing like to listen to your intuition to really connect with with you know like the divine you you need to like meditate clear your mind of all the things um okay so for right now if you could think of a question if you have any questions for this upcoming week and <laughs> okay and it's already so even as you were thinking this is um the answer for your question is look for a sign so there's going to be signs that are big i feel like it's going to be with the moon to do with the moon too so that is your answer for the week. Look for the sign. Um, I wonder if I should try to take this out a little bit so you can see that. There's just right there. Um, okay, let's look at the pin for the week. Okay. <laughs> I always love when this happens. Oh, sorry, I can't. Sometimes I just shaky shaky. Um, so we have the mage. So yeah, you're creating magic. I feel like you're connecting um, really strongly. <laughs> to this like you're creating a whole bunch of cool magic in your world um so that's a really exciting so trust it trust in this magic whether it's like basically just listen to your creative um yearnings and and follow through on that too um okay let's do the divination dice oh sorry if it was loud <laughs> okay so we have h let's move this so we have h a 
y m and a blank one <laughs> um then we have taurus i don't know why i want to say him uh so yeah sorry taurus um taurus is important we have scorpio so earth and water energy a lot of that's happening oh sorry so <laughs> well i picked it up and it did that so we had the storm there was a lot of like movement forward but then we have the rainbow who's coming through too so that's important for us yeah we're really seeing any kind of like might be pain as we we know like there is some walking away somewhere some actual motion here so we as you walk forward you're kind of feeling a bit sad about it um and you do have clouds you do have that i feel like this this new kind of like um with this sudden storm i guess if you will it's like i think it's an internal one it's going to move away all those clouds let you clear up energy um so yeah super important create magic is super important mm -hmm. yeah i feel like there's a lot of importance and you feel like there's a lot of questions that you want clarity with like you are asking questions and i just look for the sign but there's like a lot of internal questions about like your own being like um uh, what you want to do like I, I don't know it's like you you have you have a desire to know more deeply about i guess life and existence and stuff so and your own life and um the unknowns and the hiddens you really want to know more um so yeah and as you create magic you are learning more from it you also have the diamond so there is like a lot of um financial wealth coming for you as well we do have the tree with the apple so you are you have you're manifesting you really are um this is the waning if i'm not mistaken this is the waning moon so we're actually we're gonna like we're kind of letting go of things or we're prepping for for the release of things um for something new so then that's what you're doing here this eight of cups is a lot of walking away um let's go ahead and do your sprinkle of charms okay all right so we have <laughs> we have two cameras okay how you look at the world again that is important yeah it's like really looking at you really want to focus on how you look at the world um you also have like I feel like you you might have somebody who you like to partner up with and, and take photos with um and you complement each other really well um yeah so that's something but also just yeah so how you look at the world is really important like what lens are you using to see the world um so you say so the the important number here is number three and uh, she believed she could and so she did yeah so believe in yourself a lot of as you move forward as you see trust in 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 spirit but also know that you you know that they're there to support you and you can do what you want um you can manifest the things that you so desire sweet treats so give yourself something sweet focus on sweet things um <laughs> like here you go i'm telling you to go eat a whole bunch of sweets uh, <laughs> not always not necessarily but what i am telling is like to enjoy the the sweet treats that life gives you um you are very adaptable by nature i love that we have the magician's hat because again it is like this is this strong it's like magic for you is strong right now uh <clears throat> so use it use it to like manifest the things that you do want um and clear the path for yourself like what it is that you you know what answers do you want to know and 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 you will be guided to them um so yeah but you are right now really like there's a lot of magic around you Give the girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. And you know, I love this thing because it's like, however you, whatever you want, also dress for it. Like, um, you know, like it, it really does matter. So, um, <laughs> so if you want to be a magician, wear a little magician hat. No, but I'm saying like, really just kind of dress to make yourself feel good. Um, not so much for others, but for yourself. Uh, and then we have the Hello Kitty. <laughs> it's all of a Hello Kitty um i mean it's like it is like this gentle soul it is also like a, a childhood wonder here like i join things from childhood um and we also have with the whimsical cards that that kind of goes well together um so yeah enjoy 
sweet treats and enjoy life enjoy like the past like you know like things that made you happy in the past maybe try them again now find the sense of peace that you need oh and we almost forgot this is very important yeah so there's a great love here like there's a strong love here um your heart is shining with love it might just be with for somebody but it's just shining with love in general um okay i think that is it for you group two um you have a wonderful reading it's it's like you're you're gonna have a good week um <clears throat> just really allow um spirit divine to just really help you out um with anything that you need help with just remember right now you are very like you are creating magic um so just focus in on things that you do want like find this um this lens that focuses on things that you do want versus like things that you don't um okay that is it for you uh i hope you ha i hope this reading helped um if it did please consider like subscribing and commenting <laughs> i love comments i always get so happy when i read them um so that's it i am sending you so much love so much light so much clarity so much magic and all fun and i hope you have a wonderful day bye bye group two hello group three <laughs> I have trouble saying group three sorry about that but you chose this beautiful card um and they actually have a little surprise it's actually two cards so we have two cards we have the broken heart and the second chakra archangel so you know how i like to read both so that you can know what affirmation we're going to do this week um so we'll start off with the broken heart one because that's number nine okay this card shows a broken heart open revealing darkness emptiness and grief filled tears <clears throat> the hurt may be from long ago or may be pain from more recent events. Either way, a deep healing is called for now. Vent your feelings and release the person or situation involved. Affirm that you are reclaiming your power and the peace of mind. Open your heart to the light of the divine love and healing and have compassion for yourself through this difficult process. Make a self-care priority now. As you let go of all the experience, you can open your heart to the true and abiding love that you so rightly deserve. <clears throat> And the affirmation is, I release the pain of the past and live with compassion for myself. Love heals and renews me now. That's beautiful. So if you're, sorry if you're going through a little tough time. Broken heart is not a fun thing to deal with. <laughs> I know. And here we have the second chakra, Archangel. Okay. So we have the second chakra vibrates in an energy of beautiful angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange energy, promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it is urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have more creative approach. This is also a time when the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself up to emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection and camaraderie sorry, of the resonant souls around you. <clears throat> I love that. Okay, affirmation. My second chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. I am creative, self-nurturing, and more and more comfortable with the gentle waves of intimacy coming my way. So I feel like even if you have this, there's a movement forward. I, I love that when the cards kind of let us know that. <laughs> so here we have, let's look at what it is, what the cards have to tell us. Um, okay. So here we go. So we have this Queen of Cups, which is, you know, Queen of Cups is one of the most nurturing, compassionate, very loving um, and energy. Like she's one of the very loving and intuitive um, queens. So there's that energy of love. <clears throat> it also feels like there is this, um, here there's a choice or there's like love coming. I feel like there's a choice of love coming your way, just based on what it is. Um, but it is like... This balance, so you have to find a balance within yourself. But here is where kind of all like, it, it kind of says all that stuff. So as you see the Four of Cups is usually somebody could be, it's like a card that usually represents boredom or apathy. In a sense, it's kind of closing yourself off. Like this person is not even aware of these cups, but more so it's not, a, they're not aware of this cup that's being offered by, um, I, you know, the divine by, you know, like, this is like something being offered to you, some sort of new love, something that, that you've been wanting um, and not, and you're closing off on it. So I love that this is like, I love that this, you got the second chakra, Angel Ariel, 
for this because it feels like you have a lot of angels around you <laughs> and I feel like they really want you to start feeling love. I feel like this past hurt has like kind of stunted you in a way and they really want to help clean you. They want to like not clean you but um, clean like get rid of all that negativity, all the all the sadness, all the things that are kind of making you stagnant in this situation, apathetic. Um, so they're trying to clear the path, clear everything for you. Um, so yeah, as you find this balance within yourself though, um, I feel like you can have this. There, there is love here for you. Um, <clears throat> for some of you, it's more of a, it's like a choice. You're, you're unsure of what choice to make. And it's saying that to really listen to your to yourself and give yourself time to to discover this the answer because the divine is going to give you a clear cut answer but you have to be looking for it you have to be aware of it you can't be like closed off it's really what this week is for you is to be open <laughs> because there's going to be like i really want to say there's going to be miracles for you this week so <clears throat> be open because they like this this is your natural state. Your natural state is giving, loving, um, compassionate, um, intuitive. That is your natural state. Anything which is like, there's no doubt here. It's just love. Love always just like carries here things through. So I feel like this week is for you to open yourself up and be willing to possibilities, choices that you're going to have. And allow yourself this like the patience, the patience to heal your heart and also like or in like the past heal the heart and past but also be able to move forward don't close off that's so, so openness is important <clears throat> so you have our little whimsical oracle i'm excited to use it i haven't used it in a while and i'm actually adding more cards to it because <laughs> i love to play with my little oracle decks so we have the start now i feel like when i look at it i'm like oh but let's start now like Start now is start the process of this healing. Start the process of opening yourself up. Start the process of like allowing. It's really allowing. Um, have patience with yourself. It doesn't. You don't have to get to the ten right away. Just as long as you start at the one. You know, like just start little by little. But start now, allowing yourself. Like let go of this apathy. This like closing off open I really feel like I want to say do some yoga like heart opening yoga like you know like do some something to like really open your heart about this <clears throat> again because this is natural state of being um okay let's see what the love energy is for this week so this could be the one I mean to me it feels like yeah okay so maybe somebody is in the background and, and you're not quite being able to see it because because of the past. So you've already met the romantic par partner you seek, but you may not be able to see it right now. So this is if you if you are looking for this love and you could already have that and but you're not being aware of it, not seeing it quite there. There is a lot of love here for you. Um it also feels like for for those of you who is like not a romantic thing, but something that else that's broken, you know, like heartbreaking. Um maybe a lost opportunity some sort of regret here it feels like there is an opportunity already being presented to you you just have to look up and see it that's something that you can see <clears throat> so let's see for the self-care for the week we have music and we have sweet treats oh i love sweet treats i love baking so that is cool i'm glad you get to make some sweet treats make it or buy it so maybe that's part of <laughs> like part of the healing process is to bake <laughs> it is for me um but part of the healing process is to enjoy the like enjoy things that you do like um that make you happy just stop focusing on <clears throat> looking down and being closed look on all the opportunities right in front of you uh, okay so let's actually do with this i'm gonna there's a ask a question for that you have for this week and i will the angels cards will answer you um so go ahead and think about the question that you have for this week okay and it's unlikely um i was like to i'm gonna get those i like to to clarify what that is and there's something else it's like within the next few months okay so that is those are the two 
answers. Um, go ahead and so I'm gonna, if you want to just put it there, she's there. Okay. And okay. Lots of cool stuff. Okay, so let's see what your pin for the week is. <laughs> oh, here we go. You have the little sheep. Uh, and I know for a lot of people, it's like following the the crowd. But for me, the sheep represents um, actually allowing yourself to be vulnerable. <laughs> It's always when everything it's like like it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to to show like you don't have to be like all like protective gear like letting yourself be like letting your softer side come out is really what i whenever i i, I get the little sheep that's what i think of letting your softer side come out <clears throat> sorry if that was loud <laughs> i got excited all right so we have some scorpio here um cancer so wow double the double the um water signs there so a lot of, definitely a lot of water signs here um so we have the sun with the clouds and the clouds we do have this so i, I feel like there's a lot of like um upheaval maybe hmm, not upheaval but like a lot of inner in internal turmoil happening this week and i feel like that is not a bad thing. It's like, I feel like there's the clouds, but there's this like, it's more like an internal desire for change. Um, so it's so it's gonna like kind of move everything inside you. And then you're gonna have the sun come out. There's still like stuff that you need to, you know, overcome, but it's still coming. Um, <clears throat> it seems to me, yep, there was some sort of like, based on the love here, um, there was a three, it was like a, third party kind of happening here with this um it feels like also like just based on what it is so it could be that your heart is torn in two because you're not really sure um you have a past and you have a future you're not sure which to choose that might be something that's important too it's, it's okay to give yourself time find that balance um i think your heart knows what it wants uh, so, sorry, I'm shaking. X, S, N, L, S, N, L, <laughs> B. Um, oh, friendship is important, but it, here friendship and abundance is coming, but it's also letting us know that there's a lot of sweetness in you, but there's a tough exterior. Let yourself, let some, show some of your sweetness, like let it come out. Um, yeah, that's important. New moon. So I'm going to actually link you to the new moon reading that I'm making, that I'm doing, <laughs> that I made. Blah. Um, so yeah, this is like new starts, new beginnings are coming. Number three is important. And yeah, you're still like, there's a lot of confusion here. Um, like questions, a lot of questions. You are sprouting. Um, yeah, so you're like more than sprouted. You're actually growing towards you need to be. Plan a trip, maybe. <laughs> like i always solve everything but like trip planning always cheers me up so that's kind of what i do like i like to plan trips um so maybe you are taking a trip or maybe you are planning a trip either way hopefully it'll be a lot of fun and that's you know gets you out of that rut that you might be feeling right now um let's see sprinkle charms okay oh i love this all right <laughs> Oh, well, you are going through a transformation. It's a big one. Transformation, we also have X. And we have L. So the double, oh wait, no, J. X, J. J, okay. Sorry, trust me, it's a J. It just doesn't want to come out that way. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. J. Okay, yeah, we did it. Um, I can. Yes, you can. You can definitely, you can do and you can be, do, or have anything that you want. You definitely can. Um, you do have <laughs> double transformation. They also have a lot of like, I'm like, you have so many angels around you right now. <laughs> it's not even funny. Um, so there is a, a lot of angels around you, a lot of supporting you, guiding you, really wanting the best for you. Um, you just might not be focusing on that. So I have the heart, the key to, um, 
open your heart to to let your heart blossom um hot dogs are important i feel like oh uh, well sweet treats are there but it, it feels like uh, like hot dog maybe go out and, and go to a game or watch a game um like hot dogs are important somehow um it feels to me like it always is like going out um and going to watch a some sort of like a event or, or somewhere like where they sell hot dogs and just having a lot of fun and because you also have the lollipop there i really feel like that maybe you're planning a trip to like uh <laughs> to a theme park or something like that but it's a lot of like cool stuff i think there's like a lot of energy there that would be positive um and we also have the clover so we have good luck coming your way like it definitely feels like there's a lot of positive things happening this week i uh, just it's just how you focus on things um and really just i really want to say just open up it's really what it just says open up there's so much because you are being so supported you have so much love surrounding you you might just not feel it or be aware of it because you're closing off but if you open up oh you're gonna feel this so much love um okay i think that is it for you group three i think so do so you have a good week here you do um okay so i if you, this reading was helpful if you found it helpful please consider liking subscribing and commenting i love reading your comments i love getting new subscribers i love getting you know thumbs up <laughs> i mean who doesn't um and thank you to everybody who has done so i am super grateful to you so I am sending you so much love, so much light, so much abundance, and I really want to say openness for you. So much openness uh, and, and being able to see the right things at the right time and just knowing that angels and the universe is there to support you. Um, okay, that is it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Good day. Bye-bye.